60. They're all bundled up as they come into the studio today, like it's cold outside or something. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy Struzzi, Amanda Augustine with us this morning, brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Ladies, good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Todd. It is pancake and sausage time. Must mean it's also election day, huh? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is election day. But we're concerned here today with the United Way Pancake and Sausage Day. Uh, always takes place on election day. Mm -hmm. But different this year. Very different this year. Uh, because of the restrictions over at the hospital, we have a new venue, mm -hmm. which is New Life Community Church over at the Indiana Mall. Mm -hmm. Our uh, event runs from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now, we have different ways you can order. Um, uh, before I get to that, I'm going to tell you about the options we have for pancakes. You can get original blueberry pancakes or French toast. And that comes with sausage and a drink. A donation of $6 mm -hmm. for all of that. So that's a pretty good deal. But we have uh, the delivery order deadline passed already. But we, you can still order online because okay. we have curbside pickup this year. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you come and we have designated areas for that. And someone will run your meals out to you. We also have dine-in. Uh, we try to avoid that. But if someone wants to, that's fine. We have... A lot of volunteers that are willing to sanitize the table and mm -hmm. chairs and everything. But um, if you want to order online, you visit uwindianacounty.org and click the link for Pancake and Sausage Day. Mm -hmm. Or else you can text We Vote Pancakes to 243-725. And you'll receive an ordering link. Uh, just visit the instruction page, drop down the menu, and it will tell you everything to do. Pretty simple. Um, or else, if you don't want to order online... You pull into one of the parking spots. We'll have a table outside of New Life Community Church. You can walk up to the table, order your meals, go back to your car. They'll take care of the rest and bring it out to you. So pretty simple. Um, it's, been, it's been a lot of work sure. because the venue changed. Mm -hmm. Usually, you know, IRMC staff does pretty much all the work. This year, we needed a ton of volunteers, but I think it's going to be a great event, and we're looking forward to it. Did you just say, we vote pancakes? We vote pancakes. <laughs> That's what you text, text it, Todd. Yes, you text it. Text it to where? 243-725. Uh, okay. You know, and this event would not be possible without the generous outpouring of donations from our volunteers, IRMC, Cura Hospitality, Fast Time Screen Printing and Sign Company, Indiana Rotary Club, Pat Doherty, Turner Dairy, Aramark, McDonald's, Evergreen Garden Club, Nichols Bakery, Friends of Shireen Hess, and Paragon. And then we have to uh, just give a special thanks to Hilton Garden Inn and C.H. Fields Craft Kitchen. They are assisting with the preparation of the food. Mm -hmm. And then New Life Community Church for hosting our event this year. And then our volunteer coordinator, who has been crazy busy, is Katie Resente at uh -huh. Marion Center Bank. Uh -huh. So she keeps us all in line, organized, so there's no confusion. <laughs> ah, goodness gracious, Amanda. She, uh, Chrissy named off a whole bunch of people there. That, it takes that many to make it happen this year, doesn't it? It does take all of these people. Um, as Chrissy said, it looks a little bit different this year, but it's just going to be... Um, the event itself will be just as good as it always has in the past. Um, so remember the ways that you can order your pancakes, curbside pickup, online, or um, dine-in. And then we also want to just thank, in addition, our United Way campaign sponsors for this year. The Raschini Group, Crafts United Publishing, Government and Civil Employee Services, Rosebud Mining Company, Company First Commonwealth Bank, Diamond Pharmacy Services, Colonial Motors, Toyota, and Arbuckle, Thomas M. Frick Insurance, Affordable Interiors, and Highmark. Bunch of people mm -hmm. making it happen. And Chrissy, it's, it's <laughs> easy to see why. United Way is so important to Indiana County, and getting that money this year is going to be tougher than ever. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, Chris and I have to change everything around this year like <laughs> virtual kickoff which mm -hmm. was really great because there were so many views it was really nice to see how many people oh, yeah. tuned in from home and you think about it like 
maybe we should have went virtual a while ago. So people mm-hmm. at home who couldn't make it to our kickoff mm-hmm. could actually sit at home, you know, enjoy it on their computers yeah. while they, you know, are making dinner or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so it, just changing the venue this year for Pancake and Sausage was the hardest part of this. But, you know, New Life Community Church has one of the biggest kitchens in Indiana County sure. because they're where the old dingbats used to be. Mm-hmm. So everybody, I think, was a little surprised whenever I suggested we go over there and look at that area. And they were like, wow, this kitchen is huge. <laughs> and it had everything we needed. Yeah. So that's amazing. Thank, thank goodness. And Amanda, that outside location there next to the old Kmart lo- um, area is, is, is perfect for people to pull up. Right. Just pull up. And as um, Chrissy said, you can... Just walk up to the table, place your order, go back, and today you could sit in your nice warm car while (laughs) your pancakes get get packaged up for you. So um, we tried to be as accommodating to everyone's needs Mm -hmm. um, as possible. But as Chrissy said, there will also be dine-in. So, Mm -hmm. of course, she said we're going to be sanitizing the table, space apart. But if, you know, that's something that you've always done and that's your tradition, that you Mm -hmm. go and vote and then come eat pancakes Mm -hmm. and sausage – you can still do that. Yeah. You know, yeah, I wanted to true. add one more thing, too. Uh, if you're shopping at the mall or if mm-hmm. you're an employee at the mall, we have a cart outside of New Life Community Church where mm-hmm. you can come and order your meals as well inside the mall. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just come up to the cart by the door, mm-hmm. and they will take your order, and you can wait for it. And, yeah, enjoy your meal. There you go. I like it. I like it a lot. And I like pancakes a lot, too. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> we'll see you there tomorrow, Todd. Yeah. Uh, well, right now we're up to, I think it's 555 orders. Oh, yeah. And 444 of those are delivery. So Chris <laughs> and I will be busy tomorrow <laughs> delivering. <laughs> Man, that's a lot. It I, is. I think one of the things to point out, though, is this, you know, we think of pancakes and sausage. That's breakfast. But this is an all-day event. This oh, is all breakfast day. for dinner. Yep. That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you could do breakfast and dinner. <laughs> yes, so, there you go. And lunch. Put lunch. <laughs> yeah. lunch in there. Well, you, well, you've got pancakes, you've got pancakes with blueberries, you've got French toast. There's yeah. three entrees. Yeah, right. Three entrees. Yep. And, and pigs that are giving up their lives for the United Way. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so all of that is happening tomorrow. Yes, yes. all of that It'll is happening It'll be a long, tomorrow. exciting day. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, United Way Pancake and Sausage Day is such a big part of the whole fabric of Indiana County. Mm-hmm. And when it moved to Election Day a few years ago, I thought that was a really good move. It is. They say people who get up early and go vote love to come in and eat breakfast then. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if they, I'm hoping they will do this year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But uh, we'll see. Well, the thing is, uh, and, and I told you before we opened the microphones uh, that uh, we've had a, a couple of folks been calling here this morning mm-hmm. wanting to know about it mm-hmm. because sometimes you don't think of things until it is that day. And all right. of a sudden people come to the realization that, hey, Pancake and Sausage Day is always on Election Day. We always mm-hmm. do that when we vote. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's still happening. Well, in this pandemic year, you always have to have that question. You do. And, and since like the venue changed and they're used to going to the hospital. Yeah. They might be calling in because they don't know where to go. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So hopefully this clears them up for them. And uh, we can, we can, we can. Yeah. And it's on our website where, you know, the new venue is and Mm. the hours of pancake and sausage and how you can order. Yeah. Right. Now, Chrissy, this is uh, also the beginning of the month of November. There's another big United Way event in November. Oh, yes. It? At the end yeah. of the month, Turkey Thon, <laughs> which Amanda has done a fabulous job uh, heading that. Yeah. So plans are underway um, with the help of our friends here at Renda Broadcasting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We will be here for the annual United Way Turkey Thon. Bill Otto will do that during his um, Oldies Attic on Saturday, November 21st. A um, couple of different things this year as well. You will be able to give online donations. Mm-hmm. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can visit uwindianacounty.org slash turkeython for more details. Um, and, of course, we, are, we will still be here at the radio station. Um, you can drop your checks off. But as in the past, where it was kind of like a fun social time here at the radio station, we are going to ask people to be limited um, and we will have a station outside the door for people to drop their donations off. Mm-hmm. I'm checking the forecast already. <laughs> and what is it? Uh, well, it's too far off, they tell me. <laughs> right, gonna, uh, right. If it was this weekend, we're going to be in the 70s this weekend. Right. But I saw that. Not, yeah. It's not until the uh, what, the 21st. Yes, yeah. November 21st. So, again, you can visit our website to make donations. You can always 
write your check and mail it into the United Way office. Um, you can call in mm -hmm. during the actual Turkey Thon. We'll be here answering the phones to take your donations. And throughout Indiana County this year, we're really excited to be able to expand beyond just the Indiana area. We will have people collecting donations. So if you see anyone, I was going to say ladies, because usually it's the quota club out there <laughs> with their turkey roasters. But we do have lots of volunteers in different places this year with their turkey roasters collecting donations. So not only here in town, we have some people going to the Homer City Ideal Market, some people going to Tate's in Clymer, and some people going to Martin's in Home PA. Mm -hmm. So everyone will be out there on the 21st. Um, the Oldies Attic is from 9 a.m. until noon. Uh, we hope that Bill is able to give us a great announcement total at noon. Yeah, yeah. He's actually going to be on the air with us on Friday. Sometimes there are folks who just can't make the time on Saturday, so we take mm -hmm. some pledges on that day, too, on, yeah. on Friday during Indiana in the morning. But yeah. uh, but it's it's just such an amazing event. This is, what, 31 years? Yeah, yeah. 31 yeah. years. And Bill's still hanging in there with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, um, we, we actually, I think... That by that time we ought to have some nice plexiglass shields between us, right? Yeah, and, there. So, mm -hmm. and that'll that'll help as well. And yeah. don't forget anybody who has small children, or if you just like to wave at the turkey, she'll be standing yeah. on the corner as well. Again, and Saturday. It's a she. It's a she. Huh? The turkey's a girl. Yes, the, the turkey, turkey is a girl. girl. I'm gonna say. And that. you know, we were For tempted sure. to bring in Turk from last year, oh, but yeah. I knew you would not be happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Turk hangs out with six little dogs right now. You know, the feathers, <laughs> I kept the feathers in the studio. Really? But I think the cleaning crew thought it was off their feather duster, so they came along and they threw Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we had quite the incident with the turkeys here yes, uh, last, last year. Last year, right. yes. Yeah. But look forward to that. Um, I'm sure Bill will have lots of mm -hmm. um, promotions coming up as well. But remember, Saturday, November 21st is the annual um, United Way Turkey Thon, and we are... Just excited that people are still already reaching out and making donations to that as well. Absolutely. Now, real quick, Chrissy, uh, we only have a couple of moments left. Um, pancake and sausage today tomorrow. Give the uh, pancake give the and sausage November third. That's tomorrow uh -huh. from seven a.m. to seven p.m. at New Life Community Church. Mm -hmm. You can order online or in person. Um, and the church is at the mall. The church is at the mall. Yes. yes. And Keep that text, in mind. Text. Text. Uh, we vote pancakes to 243-725. There you go. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, hon. We appreciate that. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160 and AM 1160. And